do these things have in common? A plastic zipper, a slide frame, and an atomizer spray bottle. They were all invented by the same man, Peter Florianchic. The sprightly 90-year-old proudly presents his latest innovation, a workout bed. Florianchic is in good shape himself. In fact, he even demonstrates his invention in a promotional video. Excuse me, I'm only 90. I'm still inventing things. I work all day long. He's a veritable font of ideas. And despite being almost blind, he visualizes them on paper. Although he doesn't always use paper. Sometimes I resorted to doing a drawing in lipstick on a woman's back. And then take a photo. And then I had the idea. <laughs> well, if it works. What we don't know is if he realized one of his most famous inventions this way, the little bottle with the spray pump. I was at a gala in Monte Carlo. I noticed how the women were practically taking a gasoline pump out of their bags and going like this. This has to change, I thought. You have to watch people. Look at this little bottle from 1947. I won first prize from Parfumerie de France. It has 18 parts. They all used them. Dior, Guylaine, Elizabeth Arden. But you have to have 100% confidence. If you don't believe it, then it's over. This man believed in him, Ilhami bin Hussein Pasha, stepfather of the king of Egypt and a very wealthy man. He joined forces with Peta Florianchic to set up a company in Monte Carlo. The innovative bottle was a big earner for both of them. Bonjour, Monte Carlo. Adieu. For 15 years, Florianchic and his wife enjoyed a life of the luxury and glamour on the Côte d'Azur. He even composed a fitting song. There's Marlene Dietrich, Vittorio De Sica, and me. The scene is from the movie Monte Carlo Story, filmed in 1948. I knew Marlene Dietrich really well. He was always a high flyer. His ski jumping skills made him the youngest member of the Slovenian national team. Florianchic was born to a respectable family and bled. The small town is now once more attracting tourists. But in his youth, it was a renowned spa getaway, comparable to Saint Moritz, Davos, or Kitzbühel. Then World War II broke out. Fearing the personal consequences of a German invasion, Florianchic escaped on foot across the Alps and all the way to Switzerland. While in an internment camp, he invented a loom for disabled veterans and got rich quick. Soon afterwards, he met his wife, Verena. He's got this amazing imagination, and there are all these things he wants to discuss. He's interested in everything. Sixty-five years later, they're still happily married. He was often ahead of his time. In 1957, for example, he invented the airbag but he didn't quite manage to perfect it. I tried out my prototype. The valve slipped and it exploded. So I said bye-bye, withdrew the patent and forgot about it. He has lived in Switzerland, France, Austria and Germany. But these days Peter Florianchic is back in Slovenia and his beloved hometown of Bled. When you see all these things in the nice weather, it's only now I know that I know nothing. I've had a great life, so much living, full of all these things. And sometimes I wonder what I would do if I were born again. But I reckon I would have done something similar.
His inventions have become famous across the world, and even now there is always something new on the horizon.